Welcome to part two of the independent practice, page 529 and 530, and we're going to do problems uh, six through nine. So let's start with six. This has a, a graphic novel frame that we need to use the information um, to help us to answer A and B. Okay. So the graphic novel says, reading we were reading reward, 50 points equals a pizza party. Cool. And if you do all this, you can add them all up, and hopefully you want to get these 50 points, because who wouldn't want a pizza party? And this person over here is saying, remember, I need 50 points for the pizza party. Okay. Now, let's see um, if Maya has already earned 30 points. Write and solve an addition equation to find out the number of points she still needs. So she's earned 30 points. Plus, we don't know how many more, we'll call that X. Um, and that's going to be, we know she needs 50 points for a pizza party. So 30 plus, 30 plus X equals 50. So I have my equation, it's an addition equation. I want to solve for X to see what she needs. So I want to get this X all by itself. And to do that, I have to get rid of this 30. So I'm going to subtract 30 from this side and subtract 30 from this side because I want to be fair and equal. 30 minus 30 is 0, so that's going to leave me with this x equals 50 minus 30 is 20. And then if I plug it back in, so 30 plus x I think is 20 equals 50. 30 plus 20 does equal 50, and so this is the correct answer. Okay, so this is the uh, addition equation, and that's how I solved for x. Okay, I'm going to erase some of this because we need to see the second problem. Let's see, suppose Julie has already earned 36 points, right, and solve an addition equation to find the number of points she needs to earn a pizza party. So we're talking about the same pizza party of 50 points. Now we know she has 36 plus however more she needs. We'll call that x also. Um, so, let's pull this up here. We just have to solve for x. I want to get this x all alone, so I know, all alone, so I know how many she needs. I'm going to get rid of this 36 over here, and then take it away over here. So 36 minus 36 is 0. It leaves me with just the x equals I do the subtraction problem, 10 minus 6 is 4, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So I have x equals 14. I'm going to put that into my equation just to make sure. And if I add 36 plus 14, it gets me to 50, which equals 50, which means that is accurate. So x equals 14. Julie needs 14 more points so that she can earn a pizza party. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Let's go to page 530 and uh, do the, the last three problems. Okay, so... Very fun. Fractions. I know you all love fractions. Hopefully you've tried these, and uh, we should be okay. Let's go through them. So again, a plus one ten equals one tenth equals five tenths. I want to get this a all alone. I want this a by itself. And the way I do that is I have to get rid of this one tenth. So minus one tenth on this side, and minus one tenth on this side. And let's see what I get. A that stays the same. One tenth minus one tenth is zero equals, here's where I'm going to write it out like this. This helps me. 5 tenths minus 1 tenth. They have the same denominator, so that's cool. I don't have to do anything there. I just take it across. 5 minus 1 is 4, and I keep the denominator of 10. So 4 tenths, and I'm going to, um, I could reduce it, but I think I'll keep it the same for now because I want to check it. A plus one-tenth equals five-tenths. So if A is four-tenths plus one-tenth 
Does that equal 5 tenths? It sure does, and I'm good to go. So A equals 4 tenths. Now we know I could reduce that to be 2 fifths. So either of those answers would be correct. All right, let's go. There we go. Let's go to number eight. Hmm. Somehow I've, oh, there we go. Perfect, that's what I want, okay. So eight, we have M plus one third equals two thirds. I want to get M all by itself. The way I'm going to do that is to get rid of this one third. So if I take one third and subtract one third, it means I have zero. But I have to do that on both sides to be fair and equal. So I have M one third minus one third is zero equals, come down here, I have two thirds minus one third equals, I love to have the denominators the same, then I don't have to worry about that. So two minus one is one, and I bring my denominator across, it's one third. One third. Let's see if that's true. So M equals, oh no, M, M plus, M plus one third equals two thirds. Now I, th I think M is this one third. So one third plus one third equals two thirds. Let's see if that cr is correct. One plus one equals two. And I pull my thing, my denominator over here. So this is correct. M equals one third. One more problem, number nine. Okay, they don't have the same denominator, so this will take be a little bit more tricky. Not much. You guys can handle this. Hopefully you've done this. Hopefully you've figured out what X is, and you're just kind of checking it to see, uh, to make sure you did everything correct. I want to get this X all by itself, and I see that I have a, a 1 half over here. So the way I'm going to get rid of that is minus a half, but i got to do it on both sides, minus 1 half. Okay, let's see what we got. So 3 fourths minus 1 half equals x, and then the 1 half minus a half is 0. So now I just do this problem right here, and it'll give me what x is. 3 fourths minus, I have to have the same denominator, and I know 4 is the greatest common denominator. So 2 times 2 gets me to 4, so then I have to do 2 times, 1 times 2 to get me that top. So, um, 1 half, that is the same as 2 fourths, but because they have the same denominator, I can do it now. So, that equals 4, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So I believe that 1 fourth equals x. That's what I'm suggesting. So let's do it. 3 fourths equals x plus 1 half. So 3 fourths equals x, we think, is 1 fourth, oops, I better do the correct function, plus 1 half. Okay, now to add these two together, I need them to have the same denominator. So 4 will work. I'm going to put that into 4. 2 times 2 equals 4. 1 times 2 equals 2. So they're the same. I'm done with this one. 1 plus 2 is 3. And I bring my 4 over. 3 fourths equals 3 fourths, which is a true statement. So x is 1 half. Okay. If you have any questions about these, um, Come see me, raise your hand, uh, I will help you. Um, if you're feeling good, if you got all these right, you're confident, you're ready to go on, um, go ahead and go on to the hot problems and uh, see what you can do.